Hello, Gitali. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Too. So, how is your your day going? It is okay. It is relaxed. It is busy. Mm, it's relaxed. That sounds really good. That sounds really great. So, uh, okay, Samantha is here too. Hello, Samantha, can you hear me? Uh, hello, teacher, yes, I heard you. Okay, great, excellent. How are you, Samantha? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thanks to you. Okay, great. So tell me, um, how is your day going, Samantha? Mm, it was good. Okay, it is good. It is okay, good. That sounds really good. So it's in BC, it's good. Great girls. Okay, so now we are going to continue with the last class. So I don't know if you have questions or comments about we learned the last class. No, I don't have any questions. You don't have any questions. Okay, so uh, we are going to make some exercises. Give me a second. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen, girls? Yes. Yes. Okay, so the last class, the last class we did this activity, right, girls? How much yes. this, this does in toes? So now, Mm, we did this activity too. So, okay, so we continue with a uh, strategy plus conversation songs. Uh huh, means yes, that's right, or I'm listening. Uh, so sur you're surprised, happy, upset, or angry. Okay, so this are conversation songs really common when we are talking aha uh -huh, or uh or whatever so the idea is complete the conversation with these conversation songs for example the first you have some money with you right aha uh -huh, yes i have no aha uh -huh, the same thing yes no, i have some about 30 dollars so aha uh -huh, i have about 30 dollars have sense, girls? Yes. Okay, so please continue to do the activity and when you get ready, tell me, okay?
Don Pitcher. Don. Easy. So, good Sally, can you see me the word by number one, please? Uh, oh, good. Can I borrow 10? Uh-huh. And, oh, not again. Oh, not again, exactly, to upset. Oh, not again. Number two. Um, I had about nine or ten credit cards. Oh, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> but I never carry cash. Uh-huh, uh-huh, but I never carry cash. Number three. I have to go shopping this weekend. Uh-huh. Yeah, I want to buy a tablet. Oh. Cool. Exactly. Uh, and we have here the uh, we have heard the answers. So this was really easy, right, girls? Questions about it? No. Okay, no. so now we are going to listen. And and well, we have three conversations. Listen to three conversations and start write the price of each of them. Listen to the girls circle the items the shoppers buy. Well, do they choose why? Do they choose these items? Write a reason for each item. Okay, we have here three conversations. The first activity is write the price of each article of each item. The second activity is choose the correct item that the buy that they buy. For example, the first is that maybe bought the scarf, red scarf, and maybe the second the blue glasses. Okay, the blue sunglasses. So the idea, yes, is choose which item the person decide to buy, but we need to buy a reason. Why do they choose these items? Why? For example, the first day that maybe the red scar because it looks good on her or him. Okay. That's clear the activity, girls? Yes. Yes. I'm going to share all the screen so you know when you finish, let me know. So, can you see the screen now? Yes. Oh, I forgot to share the audio. Okay, I think that you can see the screen now so page 81 3 okay can you listen to the audio girls yes okay so when you finish let me know i'm going to play the audio twice okay two times listening and strategies i'll take it a and B. Listen to three conversations in a store. One. Can I help you? Uh, yes. I'm looking for a gift for my wife. It's her birthday this week. Okay. Are you looking for jewelry? A purse? Um, or a scarf? I don't know, really. Uh, maybe a scarf? Okay. Now, what colors does she like to wear? Uh, um, that's a good question. She wears a lot of different colors. Let me think. What about this red scarf? It's $199.95. Oh, that's kind of expensive. I mean, uh, 
I'm not sure about red. Um... Does she wear black? We have this black and white scarf. It's a designer scarf, but it's on sale for for forty nine fifty. What do you think? Forty nine fifty? That's not expensive, and it's nice too. I guess I'll take it. Two. Do you need some help? Uh, yes. I want to look at those sunglasses. Do you mean these? The blue sunglasses? Right. How much are they? They're $79.95. Here, try them on. Oh, nice. What do you think? Do they look good on me? Let's see. Yes, they look great on you. They're very popular this season. But I really like those, too. The black sunglasses right there. These are on sale for $74.95. They're usually $150. It's a great price. Here, put them on. Oh, they look really cool. But I'm not sure. Um, just so you know, the sale ends today. Really? Okay, well, I'll take the black sunglasses. I wear black a lot. Three. Can I help you with something? Oh, yes, thank you. I'm looking for a... This gray suit and red tie. Um, let me think. Oh, I really like those socks, the red and gray socks. They go with my suit and my tie. Uh, how much are they? Let's see. They're $15.95. But, uh, here's a little fashion advice. People usually wear black socks with gray suits. Or maybe gray socks. And, uh, I have these really nice black socks here for only $9.95. You know... I hate to wear black socks all the time. I want something a little more interesting. I'll just take the red and gray socks. Okay, no problem. Page 81. 3. Listening and Strategies. I'll take it. A and B. Listen to three conversations in a store. One. Can I help you? Uh, yes. I'm looking for a gift for my wife. It's her birthday this week. Okay. Are you looking for jewelry? A purse? Um, or a scarf? I don't know, really. Uh, maybe a scarf? Okay. Now, what colors does she like to wear? Um, that's a good question. She wears a lot of different colors. Let me think. What about this red scarf? It's $199.95. Oh, that's kind of expensive. I mean, uh, I'm not sure about red. Um... Does she wear black? We have this black and white scarf. It's a designer scarf, but it's on sale for $49.50. What do you think? $49.50? That's not expensive. And it's nice, too. I guess I'll take it. Two. Do you need some help? Uh, yes. I want to look at those sunglasses. Do you mean these? The blue sunglasses? Right. How much are they? They're $79.95. Here, try them on. Oh, nice. What do you think? Do they look good on me? Let's see. Yes, they look great on you. They're very popular this season. But I really like those, too. The black sunglasses right there. These are on sale for $74.95. They're usually $150. It's a great price. Here, put them on. 
Oh, they look really cool. But I'm not sure. Um, just so you know, the sale ends today. Really? Okay, well, I'll take the black sunglasses. I wear black a lot. Three. Can I help you with something? Oh, yes, thank you. I'm looking for a pair of socks to go with this gray suit and red tie. Um, let me think. Oh, I really like those socks, the red and gray socks. They go with my suit and my tie. Uh, how much are they? Let's see. They're $15.95. But, uh, here's a little fashion advice. People usually wear black socks with gray suits, or maybe gray socks. And, uh, I have these really nice black socks here for only $9.95. You know, I hate to wear black socks all the time. I want something a little more interesting. I'll just take the red and gray socks. Okay, no problem. Okay, girls, so do you have all the answers? Yes, yes. Okay, so Samantha, what students were by the first, by number one? What uh what are the prices of the scarves? The red scarf is 199. So the red is 199. 99.95. Uh -huh. The red, right? Yes. <clears throat> And the other, and the blue and white scar is um, forty nine fifty. Forty nine fifty. Yes. Forty nine. Fifth by this. Yes. Okay, so in this case is four hundred ninety-five, right? Yes. Sorry, repeat. Was oh, uh forty nine fifty like this? Yes, forty nine fifty. With the point. Okay. Another ninety nine, one hundred ninety nine, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Katali, uh, number two, please, the glazes. Uh, the blue glazes are 79. 79. 95. Okay, 95, like this? Yes. Okay, and the uh, black ones, 74, 74, 95, 95, yes, like this, yes, okay, and the last, Samantha, please, the socks. The, the red socks is fifty ninety five. Fifty ninety five. Like uh, sorry, sorry, fifteen fifteen ninety five. <laughs> sorry. Fifteen. Yes. Yeah,
1955. Yes. And the black box is 955. 955? Yes. Okay, so this is the answer. No, the red card is 100. And the black and white scarf is $49.50. The sunglasses are $79.95 and $74.95. Okay, yes. $15.95. Nine, nine in five, no, 15 five, right? Easy, right girls? Yes. Questions? Okay, so now tell me, Kitsali, um, which item the first, in the first conversation, which item the person decide to buy and why? Uh, he decide to buy the black and white scarf because it's not expensive and, and it's nice. So it's not expensive and it's nice. Exactly. Well, the black and white, because it's not expensive, but it's nice. Oh, yes, it's the same. Okay. Samantha, which item the person decide to buy and why? She mm, buys the blue glasses by on sale today. Sorry, sorry. She decided to buy the blue the glasses black, because what? The black sunglasses because wow. it's in sale today. Because in sale, exactly. No, it sales today. Exactly. No, the shopper buys the black sunglasses because they are on sale today and she wears black a lot. Exactly. On sale. On sale is a uh, in promotion, something like that, right? Yes, in oferta. <laughs> in oferta, in promotion. And the last number three, Italy. Uh, the shopper buys the gray and the red and gray socks because he thinks they are interesting. Exactly, the red and gray socks, because they match his suit and tie and he wants something interesting. Easy. Questions, comments, girls? No. No. Okay. Vale, me pidieron que eh, hiciéramos la actividad de loop, pero yo no logro entrar, chicas. No sé si ustedes logren entrar. Yo no logro entrar a la, a la aplicación del loop. Les mandaron un enlace y las instrucciones dice, eh, Hello, good afternoon. We have, we have a wonderful restaurant vacation time. This is an activity for all of our students. We need to click in the Microsoft Loop link, log into it with your creation account created by the Academy. We read and follow the directions on the activity and enjoy it. And I have understood that it's like a table when you need to write something, maybe about your vacation. Uh, so maybe you can try it. Yes. Yes, it's like a whiteboard, and you can see 
the answers of all the students. Of all the students. Uh -huh, yes, exactly. But I can I can sing on it. I don't know why. So uh, I don't know if uh, you summon you can tell it, you did activity last day or you are doing the activity now. No, I do the activity the last time. Uh, this the activity I don't do it yet. This activity, but the yesterday, a yesterday activity you didn't. No, you don't do no, yet, right? No yet. Okay, entonces vamos a hacer la actividad, vale. Eh, ya tenemos aquí algunos. Bueno, por lo que yo veo, tenemos el teacher Miguel. No sé de quién sea el de arriba, eh, porque nada más me pasaron la imagen de la tabla. Entonces, la idea me imagino que es contestar o escribir un texto acerca de tus vacaciones. Right? Girls. Ok. Arriba es del. Del profesor Miguel está usted, profesora. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, I know, but I can, I can see it. I mean, I tried, but I have a trouble on it to say that I, I need to reload to continue, and I reload the page, and I can, I can, I can access. So I don't know if it's my account or something is happening on it, but maybe you can try it, okay? You have the instructions on, on them. Maybe if you can take a, a screenshot on the structures, maybe I can help you in it. But if that's all that I can do by you because I don't have access. Okay, girls, questions about it? No. Okay, in this case, I see, well, in the image that the teacher sent me, that he writes on past simple, but we don't know how to write on past simple, right? No hemos aprendido el pasado simple, right? No, aún no. Entonces lo vamos a escribir en presente simple. ¿Cómo? Voy a escribirlo como yo usualmente, ¿no? Utilizando un adver una frecuencia adverb, un adverbio de frecuencia, donde yo Ponga generalmente, usualmente, eh, casi siempre, rara vez, ¿no? Salgo de vacaciones eh, o frecuentemente yo eh, veo la televisión, ¿no? En las vacaciones. Las Eastern Vacations, que se refieren a estas vacaciones de abril, eh, nosotros los llamamos como Semana Santa, pero también está Pascua, ¿no? Right? Yes. So in this case, well, the last is la anterior, right? In Eastern eh, eh, vacations, it's eh, it's like well, on of this time to April, because Eastern maybe could be said to middle of year, summer vacations, something like that. Yeah, girls. Okay, please attend the activity, and if you have questions. You know that you can ask me, okay, girl? Okay.
teacher, how do you say balneario? Balneario. Mm, no, spa, it's different. Mm, resort. Well, it could be resort. Resort to something to swim. Resort to R A R E S O R N T. Okay, thank you. Bright swimming resort because resort is a like a centro turistico. So please, bright swimming resort. Similar to okay, thank you.
Okay, I get access to a loop girl. So, Samantha, in the sentence, my parents generally watch is they generally watch TV. No, two. You don't need to add the two next to watch. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
Ok, Samantha, ya llevas 80 palabras y Quetzali ya llevas 95, ¿vale? Entonces todavía les hace falta porque de acuerdo a la actividad dice Describe in 115 words what did you teach the storm occasions, girls. Ok, vamos a terminar la clase por el día de hoy. No sé si hay dudas, preguntas. No. No. Ok, vale. Entonces no se les olvide hacer esta actividad de loop, terminar la actividad de loop, porque creo que la tienen que tener lista más tarde al viernes. Vale, entonces si no hay dudas, si no hay preguntas, nos vemos el día lunes. See you girls, take care and have a nice weekend. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good weekend.